Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Stefania. Thank you so much for finding me here. If you found this message, this is a timeless message. No such thing as coincidence, only God incident, source incident, and a thank you for tuning in. If you find, if you like this message, if you like my channel, please don't forget to click and subscribe. It really makes me feel happy and I know that the, en the energy and the information is resonating for you. So as I was tuning in uh, for the collective, for the energetic message for today, I was, as my frame of reference, hearing the witches. <laughs> and so there's a negative connotation around the word witch and around what a witch embodies. So if you're psychic, if you're intuitive, if you channel, if you do spiritual work, there's this witchiness that, that, that applies into that energy, right? Now, witches, the witches, um, in the, of the Middle Ages were basically wise women who understood that keeping a clean house and having a cat or a few cats was important for keeping disease at bay because the cats killed the rodents and the rodents carried the disease, right? And so they also understood as they connected to and were in tune and knew that working with the earth and creating herbs and tinctures from the earth was very good for their families and very good for the health. So they were intuitive. They were one with one consciousness. They knew, but they were, of course, a threat to the leaders of that time, the religious leaders of that time, the men of that time who were threatened by their wisdom. And then, of course, they were, you know, burned at the stake and millions and millions of cats were killed. Now, ironically, not ironically at all, after all of the millions of cats were killed, that's when the Black Plague hit Europe. And millions and millions and millions of people died because the cats were no longer around to kill the rodents. So just a little, <laughs> you know, a little history there for you. And I'm not really like, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm just out here sharing my gifts with the world. But if you have found this channel, you may be someone who has spiritual gifts. Many people who have spiritual gifts, especially women, have a fear of being seen, have a fear of being honest, have a fear of being truthful about the gifts be because of ridicule, because of the connotation of the past. So we're not out here casting spells, you know, uh, in my energy, I'm very grounded. My gifts are to help people wake up to their own intuition, to know, to be wise from the cosmic mind of God, from the cosmic mind of source. And so, you know, this is the time where many divine feminine leaders are going to be rising. So whether through spiritual practice or singing, creation, creativity, many, many politics, there's many, going to be many more divine feminine leaders because it's the energy that needs to be balanced from, you know, lifetimes and lifetimes and lifetimes ago. Okay. So if you found this, you know, there's been a few negative comments on my channel and if you come to this place and this doesn't resonate for you, then just leave. I, I send you, I send, go, go with love. This is a place of compassion, of love, of kindness, of wisdom, support. This is not a place for ridicule. This is not a place for judgment. Been there, done that. So I'll just block you. Okay. So find your voice, connect with your intuition, shed the stories of the past, know that you are amazing, you are beautiful and wise, wise woman. Okay, so just to honor the witch energy, we're going to speak to the witches today. Yay! <laughs> What do the witches want to tell us on this beautiful day? See, I love tarot. Um, you know, if you felt like you were left out in the cold, like you couldn't speak, like you couldn't be true, you couldn't be out there, you couldn't, you know, for fear 
of judgment, ridicule, etc. You, you've been been left out in the cold. This feeling of being isolated. That was what I was just been talking about, right? So the divine feminine is coming out of that. We're coming out of that energy. But you have to nurture your own light. You have to nurture your own healing in order to be able to allow that energy to spill over into the collective, right? So learning how to be in the energy of self-love, okay? Because we're moving away from that feeling isolated and, and being in the energy of partnership with our higher self. There's the lovers. But I feel this is a partnership with the higher self, with the cosmic mind of God, with your own wisdom, with your higher soul. You've been working on it slowly, You've been working on it slowly. Slow and steady wins the race. You may have been contemplating, even if you have, you know, maybe you're already out there sharing your gifts with the world, but I feel very strongly that there's an amplification coming with the Divine Feminine Collective where there's going to be, you know, strong feminine leadership coming in. Look at that Queen of Swords. Can't bullshit the Queen of Swords. She is a boss babe. She knows. She's empowered. Her mental body is strong. She's in tune. She cuts through all the BS. <laughs> and this is not to be afraid. This is not to be afraid. A man who's totally embodied with his own masculine energy is unequivocally drawn to the Empress. The Empress, Empress energy, the greatest, greatest energy in the tarot. Empowered, creative loving, nurturing, kind, amazing, wise, the wise woman, and that is who you are. Reflect in the empress. The empress energy is in you. This is the archetype you're being called to embody, embrace, and share. And so it is. Have a beautiful day, and namaste.